We're aiming for urban fruit for urban communities. When you look into forests, you find little orchards hidden away that were part of our orchard heritage and still are. We have many ways to celebrate orchard heritage and one of the, one of the best ones is Apple Day. Apple bobbing, remember apple bobbing? Kids still love it. Um, we do all sorts of things like longest peel competition. You can get these great little machines that make an apple slinky um, and, and you can have competitions to see who's got the longest peel. Apple pie bakes, don't forget pears and plums. Um, all sorts of things and we put on a big event on the 7th of October this year at Camley Street Natural Park with London Wildlife Trust and it was attended by hundreds of people. Extremely friendly event, just absolutely lovely. Kids climbing on logs doing apple bobbing. We had some, uh, some traditional stories, we had music, uh, we had lots of different varieties of apples. Um, if you've watched any of these videos already, you'll know that you could eat a different kind of apple every day for over six years. So there's some wonderful apple names to have fun with, all sorts of strange apple names you can find on fruitid.com or on our website. And the other event that's quite amazing is an event called Wassailing, which is a traditional event held in January. So it's a Christian event and it's also quite a pagan event too. Um, it's the first new moon of the year. And in the winter, apple trees, they kind of go to sleep. They're what we call dormant. And the wassailing is you go along and to an orchard and you be as noisy as you possibly can. So you sing, you sing songs about the sap rising and you bash pots, metal pots traditionally. It's so much fun an open fire, a bit of hot cider or hot apple juice and you sing the sap up into the trees so that then the blossom appears. And the blossom, when the blossom comes, that's just an excuse for another festival.